seen a bit of performance from him since I have been covering Georgia. Yeah, I mean, he did he did everything he could to help the team win tonight, and I think it uh, all the preparation for the game, him watching so much film. I mean, we see him watching film like on the bus and all the plane and stuff. And I think it all came together tonight, and uh, I'm just so uh, happy for him. This is your seventh game with 100 plus receiving yards. Tell me about your night. I mean, I was just able to find. Um, just be able to get open and I was just catching the ball. I mean, um, it was just kind of came together like that. You're part of a, what people are now calling a dynasty, back-to-back -back national championships, uh, the first time in the CFP era that's happened. What does that mean to know that you're building something here at Georgia that perhaps has not been done before or has been by Alabama, but you know, it seems like Georgia's kind of taken over the spotlight. Yeah, I mean, I feel so, uh, so special to be an honor to be a part of it. I mean. Um, I mean, I didn't really do it. It was the dudes before me that kind of um, set that standard. And um, I mean, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, just the standard that was set before us. And uh, I mean, just trying to carry that on and uh, pass on to the next dudes to come through. May I ask you about Darnell Washington? We weren't sure if he was going to play tonight. It meant a lot to him. He's from the West Coast like you, not California, but Las Vegas. And he wanted to play in front of his family. He got that opportunity. Yeah, I mean, I, I knew the whole week that I'm, I was pretty sure he was going to play. And uh, I mean, just because it's a national championship. And I mean, no other game you want to play in. So uh, he was able to pull it together and put, put together a good game tonight. So I was happy for him. Knowing that you'd be able to perform in front of your family in your home state, did that give you some extra umph coming into this game? <laughs> um, I guess maybe a little bit. Uh, I mean, had a, had a couple more people here than usual, and um, I mean, we're in LA and beautiful weather, beautiful stadium. So I mean, I was happy. I was able to uh, make an impact tonight. My last question for you, Kirby. Uh, you know, you you get told a lot. Listen to the message, not the tone. He's a hard coach to play for, but nights like this, it's all worth it, right? Oh yeah, most definitely. I mean, not many other places you go and win two national champions back to back. So it's just amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Brock, how was the celebration? You didn't, and you didn't get drug tested either this time, did you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Just what was that moment like after, you know, you saw the clock at zero, hold up control? Oh, man, I mean, just looking up and being able to see all those red lights and all of our fans there cheering. And um, I mean, there's no better feeling. Brock, two time champ. What does that feel like? No, no other way I wanted to go. I mean, two years here, two national championships. I mean, nothing more I can ask for. Six, 62 points. Uh, I think Thorson only came on the field one time. Did you guys envision that as an offense coming into this game? I mean, we always hope we always hope for that, but we never know. And uh, I mean, I know he was a little bit upset. His family was here from Australia. And, I mean, he wanted to kick some. He was like, he was like maybe get, he was like, I mean, his Australian accent is hilarious. He was like, maybe get me some a couple punts. Two questions. You know, 55 was the record, and you guys overcame that tonight. Kind of, what does that feel like to know y'all? This is a historic year, undefeated, and now you have that record. Yeah, I think the offense kind of wanted to uh, prove something because I mean, uh, you hear a lot about our defense, and I mean, for good reason. But uh, we want we want everyone to know that the offense is explosive and um, is, is capable of those uh, high scoring games too. And what do you want folks to know about Georgia next season? Yes, where do you go from here? Uh, a lot of hard work to be done, and uh, we'll see what happens next season. One more. How does it get better than this? One more. One more next year. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks, Brock. Thank you, Brock. Thank you.